Hello everyone, I'm Iteration Funk and this is episode 24 of my Modern Skyblock 3 series. Welcome back and how is everyone doing today? I'm pumped about this episode. But first... It seems like we have a cow problem. <laughs> and yeah, I guess the, the troughs kinda did some work here. Let's take a look at how much we got. We have 47. We kind of maxed this out uh, with 47k leather and beef. So yeah, that's uh, that's more than we need. And I don't want this many cows. But at the same time, I don't want any more lawsuits for animal cruelty. So I guess we'll kind of get rid of them in a humane way. Heh, humane. If you don't think this is humane... I mean, it's quick, it's painless. Removed from the world. Goodbye, cows. And I actually noticed a bit of the FPS drop, kinda, after they bred so many cows. So I'll kinda keep, uh, like, six, maybe around. Because, yeah, I don't see myself using... 50k leather or beef anytime soon. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. And last night I got a package from Amazon. I bought some new microphone stuff. I'm gonna set up a new. I'm kind of working with a subpar setup right now. I have like a towel that my Blue Yeti stands on, so I'm gonna. Kind of change mic and, you know, get a mic, st I have a mic stand and stuff, or a mic arm, I guess. Uh, but I did a derp, so it's not connected yet. I actually forgot when ordering from the UK that uh, we don't have the same power connector standard, so I need to get an adapter. And yeah, I'll do that later today, but tomorrow I'll probably have a new microphone hooked up. Yeah, this is, well, we'll keep these cows, that's, uh, that's fine. <laughs> so yeah, I kind of found out what the issue was here, or at least I solved it. Uh, that chunk with the transformer wasn't uh, chunk loaded, so I guess that's uh, part of the problem. So I kind of removed most of my loaded chunks here and got a chunk loader from persistent bits instead. It's just uh, like an enchanting table and some additional diamonds. It's at this point in the game it's really cheap. And it's gonna load a good area here. I think it's maybe 8x8 eight eight chunks or something. But it can't reach the astral area. So we're gonna manually uh, load that, but yeah. Those are not com gonna come off now, and I kind of moved the transformer back so we wouldn't get electrocuted. I mean, it's, this area is still dangerous, but most of the cabling is much more safe now, and I think this still looks neat. And I moved, I kind of added the, or moved the tinker stuff over to the blacksmith build I did. And yeah, I moved the crafting chest here, because apparently when you attach more in uh, inventories to this. It prefers south first or something. Kind of split these up. So this is extra utilities, this is uh, immersive engineering, and this is uh, MISC automation tools and yeah, and upgrades and stuff. So yeah, I got some more space, so <laughs> I don't need to worry about inventory problems for a while. And yeah, I built this thing. Kinda like it. Have some tool racks here with random tools. I might want to have it a bit more varied. There's a bunch of hammers here now. And I put the armor stand with the OP uh, armor from Mega Loot here. Some anvils. Kinda bumps the uh, smelter up by one and kinda have. I didn't like the smart output. I don't know. This uh, has weird interactions, and not sure why that's empty sometimes. 
yeah, that that's just weird. Yeah, I kind of moved these in. I used, a, I used a lot of seared bricks to do this build. I added a second floor here. And I want a tool forge here. But I moved the tinker setup over here. And, you know, some firewood if we would want firewood parts. And all that. So we're going to make a tool forge today. That's probably the first thing. Because we want to access uh, tinker's tool. I want to get faster tree automation, so we're gonna want a lumber axe. So it's forge. Uh, yeah, okay. So I guess we'll need some sticks. Cool. Another station. Forge. I'll bring these with me, put the sticks away. And yeah, I kind of made, uh, let's see here, I made the basin upgrade and I needed night slime for that. So I kind of made my first set of night slime, which is just purple slime, iron and seared stone. Kind of easy. I also made different machine tiers here. So I got into the larger ones. I'm going to put some automation in a semi-large one today. Uh, where's the tool station? We're gonna retire you and put this guy here. And can I? Yeah, put that here. Now to make a lumber axe, we're gonna need a broad axe head, a tough binding, a tough tool rod and a large plate pattern. So I think we can make this rather quick. We're gonna take advantage of that we can change pieces. We're going to start off by making this a uh, paper, fully papered tool. So we get five modifiers and I'm going to need just grab three stacks of paper. This guy is really, oh, that's not the recipe. Let's make some paper. Cool. And head over here. I'm going to put that in here. And we're gonna do the tough rod, this guy, this girl, and this binding cool. And we're just gonna assemble that. And we get five modifiers. So I'm gonna make, hmm, I think I'm gonna make uh, maybe four of those into reinforced plates and then I'm change out a one of the plates to uh, obsidian plate maybe oh you don't get an extra reinforced from that so I guess we'll put five reinforced modifiers here and yeah okay so we're out of obsidian let me grab a stack of that and I'm gonna make some more. We want this to be unbreakable so we don't need to come and repair stuff uh, at our automation. So. Cool, that's an, an unbreakable paper plumber axe, which sadly is gonna be kinda slow. You can tell it has like. Uh, 0.51 mining speed, so we're gonna want to. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna want a stone broad axe head. Grab. I hope this stone works. Gonna do this and that so that we can make a cast. I think we have gold. Cool. And we'll need 8 cobalt. I want to make a cobalt head. That's the fastest, I think. I mean, we have a bunch of extra materials from the other mods, but cobalt is usually a really good and safe bet. I really enjoy the fast smelting. So we're gonna fill you up. And there isn't much that we need to exchange, ex exchange except the head. 
And I considered doing a firewood uh, broad axe to kind of get charcoal directly from the wooden farm, but yeah, I don't think that's the way to go. I'm just gonna uh, not do charcoal because in my test world, it didn't work that great uh, in the mechanical user anyways. So <laughs> it's, it's not like it was working. So if we combine these two, we get a cobalt paper lumber axe. Now this should be faster. I'm not gonna break it, but yeah, that's cool. And we're gonna want to set up a tree farm far away. Just to don't. We're gonna avoid doing a lot of chunk redraws. That's gonna tank our FPS. So I guess put that away. I don't need the paper. And I'm gonna want at least one mechanical user scanner. Can put that away. And I'm just gonna grab all of this stuff. Maybe in the blocks. So we're just gonna head north and go, let's see, 9, 940. We might go to 800 around there. Should be good. Uh, I have a render distance of 10 on the server and the client, so I want 160 away. Let's go over to this chunk here because we wanna want to load this guy right away. Cool. And place this down. I want to build out a at least a small area for us. And yeah. The way we're gonna set this up is with the uh, colored lenses from Astral Sorcery. <laughs> I'm really liking this mod. It has some cool stuff. And I made another uh, lens. I got five from the craft. I'm not sure why. That might be based on how good the crystal is. But yeah, it's 80% pure. I don't think cutting matters here. So we're gonna grab our builder wand. And I can put this guy away. And yeah, I guess this will do. So the user will kind of face this way and yeah i'm gonna put this guy here and do a left click and only when you get a redstone signal then we're gonna put this guy here can it work i want this to grow so i can kind of set the scanner to uh wood so you set it to the current block it's facing and it's gonna you see power 15 so it has a redstone signal just gonna go that over here. That should be the first step that's gonna break uh, soon, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Generic click. Use item. I don't know. This is totally supposed to work. I think. I think it was working. It was just really slow i'm not sure why it still looks like this is fast but i think the um large large plate affects mining speed as well in this i'm gonna make a large plate cast i guess let's see i'm just gonna go ahead and do that i think we have more gold we can use down here uh, let's pour you on we just need some more uh, cobalt, uh, cobalt large. What do you have for mining speed? Yeah, it's the same. Let's grab eight. Come over here and smelt it. And we're gonna pour. And yeah, it's gonna take a little while. I guess that's the positive thing about the smart output, but I, I, I found it quite buggy. So I'm just gonna use the regular stuff that's gonna take some a while to cool down and yeah okay so time to combine you uh, with the plate one needed I'm just trying to replace here um, 
better try with another plate to see if it's just cobalt that's kind of acting up. Can't we change the large plate afterwards? Guess we'll... Kinda, I can emboss it, I think, but that's expensive. It might get levels from uh, sitting over in the... Uh, sitting over on the tree farm, so I guess we will kind of replace it whenever that happens. Let's go back to the farm. Ah, it's really handy to have the teleport wand. So let's do redstone on and try again. I'm just gonna place a sapling here. Okay, so in theory it should work now. It's set to redstone on, it has a signal and I guess it's just gonna take you a while. Any day now. That's uh, really slow. I wonder if we would need you to be some sort of other click because when I set you to always on, let's just try it with that for now and see. I'm not sure if it's gonna break saplings. And speaking of saplings, I need to go back and uh, grab a block placer, or do I have it on me? No, sec. So you're gonna be a auto placer here. I'm gonna place saplings, and it's gonna break the saplings. Uh, let's do redstone off, maybe, and kinda do this, and then we'll set it to that instead. So it's gonna detect on saplings instead. Guess it's not fast enough to kind of break that. Okay, I think I got it to work. So I made the redstone wire connector from immersive engineering to kind of uh, not lose any signal strength. So these, when they are, are when they are blue, you input the redstone signal and you can change them with the hammer. And you can see this is. Uh, output and you can kind of change the channels, which is neat. And I want it to be white <laughs> as the other one. So I'm actually gonna move you here. And then we'll want the lens around here. Now the lens will kind of cause uh, things to grow faster, and I need to head back to base and Grab my linking tool real quick. As you can see, we can put lenses on the lenses and let's uh, direct you to that block. Now I want this uh, floating collector crystal to be far back or the leaves will kind of block its starlight. Uh, yeah, starlight. So as you can see, it's gonna grow really quickly. And I gave this speed upgrade, so I'm not sure if it's gonna help or if it's gonna click faster or anything like that, but right now it's just uh, flowing or, you know, really going through these uh, quickly. Let's grab saplings out of here. Now, I want to use the advanced item collectors to kind of uh, decide where items go. So we're gonna use multiples. Uh, you can right click on these slots, but it won't actually save. So you need to left click for it to actually register. What's a quirk I was kind of annoyed by in my test world. But that's gonna only uh, accept the saplings. It's gonna pick up all of the saplings from the ground and place them. So that's what's gonna happen. And I'm probably gonna, uh, let's see here, let's grab some planks or let's uh, actually uh, kind of pick up the wood here first so something like this we need to filter that as well kind of put a log in there and yeah that get rid of that let's put the logs in here and yeah that's quick as you can see this far back, if we had it like over here, it would be blocked 
by the leaves, so that's neat. And the apples will kind of put over here. Just gonna filter that as well. Mm. And you know, put it here. So that's gonna be apples. Let's uh, lock that and kind of put that on. And I want a void upgrade here. I also want a void upgrade on you. Cool. So we won't have any kind of item spillage problem. Everything is still in this chunk, which is good. And sometimes this is slower. But still quicker than having the bonsai trees. And yeah. Kind of want to grab some more dirt here because I need a few more blocks here. I want to actually kind of grab the saplings in a drawer and then transport it into the auto placer so that we never get any saplings on the ground. So let's move this out and kind of complete it. Cool. And we'll move this guy to a drawer here. Did I bump these values? Good. And this was saplings. That's perfect. Let's put you on here again. You're gonna get saplings. We're gonna set a void upgrade on you as well. And then we'll just kind of put a transfer node down. Put a transfer pipe down. And it's gonna start putting them in here. So I think this is pretty good. I mean, we don't need apples, so I'll never upgrade this to a bigger size because we have a drawer full of apples already. But yeah, we're gonna want to pipe these to a um, enderlink chest. Let's do it over here. And I want this enderlink chest to go into, into a compacting uh, or compact machine. And yeah. That's gonna be charcoal, and I probably want to let's uh, give this guy some speed upgrades later. So right now it's kind of limited by how fast this can go. We have a bunch of wood here that's just gonna build up. But yeah, that's the colored lens of growth from Astral Sorcery, which is you can do a lot of crazy stuff with it. Let's take a look at look at that growth. It's just some aquamarines, carrots, and sugar canes. And I think I have like 100 aquamarine shale now, so that's like 300 aquamarines. We don't need that much. So I'll come back here with the speed upgrade and kind of clean my inventory. Then I'll start on the uh, charcoal automation as well. So be right back. I think that's good enough. And I want kind of want to show you uh, where I moved my uh, projector setup. I needed a bit more space for the 5x5 five five structures and you need them to be two blocks above the ground to kind of form correctly. And I grinded out about a K, uh, 1000 machine walls. And the biggest I did was the... Let's see here. Uh, the large compact machine, which is just... Uh, 5x5 five five structure with nothing in it. You can kind of hold shift here to see the inside structure, which is just empty. But yeah, this is decent. It's a 9x9x9. Nine by nine by nine. And I don't need that much for tree automation. We're gonna put that in a little bit cozier and smaller setup. I think we're gonna do the second machine here. And these are kind of empty right now, but later we're gonna come back here and right click it and we're gonna get a nice preview of what's inside. So we kind of want to remember what side this is facing. This is east and we're gonna put the charcoal here. I'm gonna connect directly to the east side. Let's go inside the compact machine. Ah, good. So we're gonna want to kind of get these going. I want some power in here. So I don't want to draw power to it, that's going to be annoying. And yeah, that's also annoying. Let me grab my silk touch uh, pick here. 
I misplaced that. So we're just missing one ice. We need, I, I'm gonna bring that in here later to just make this max efficient. And yeah, I'm missing a few wire connectors. But we're gonna kinda give these power from underneath. So we're gonna do a relay here and then I need some more uh, wire connectors. They're all gonna connect to this little relay and they are gonna power the powered furnace. And I mean, the thermoelectrics, good enough for that. Gonna set all to split here. And up here we're gonna have the ender link chest. So that's filling with wood. Faster than any bonsai tree ever could. Uh, and we're gonna want... Hmm. Probably want... Do I want these to connect from the back? Later I want uh, to kind of underneath these pull out the items. So can we do you guys one out maybe? So here. That's gonna obstruct. And that's a little bit annoying. We're gonna take them one out here instead. Yeah, that's good. I can feel that this is good. And then we're gonna move this guy to up here. That's good. Now I kinda, I'll grab more relays just so I can kinda get the cables behind here. Let's go back and grab all the cabling we could ever ask for. And I think I'll need more transfer nodes. So let's not forget that. So transfer nodes. We grab 16 and maybe. 30 cabling and then I want all of the MV wire connectors and some more relays and all of that cabling. Hopefully that's enough. I don't want to make more insulated. Let's head back here and we can kind of start seeing the shape here. It doesn't want to render the ender link chest but that's okay. I'm not judging. So we're gonna do that. Probably gonna start by having the first relay here. That seems kind of accessible. Then we'll have one here. Uh, oh my god, are you kidding me? Give me one second. That's not the correct relay kind. Okay, so we're back. I'm gonna put this guy here. And now this is probably fine. Just gonna kind of do all of them from the back. Wow, I heard how that sounded. Uh, okay. We're just gonna link all of these up to the relay. Nice, so they're gonna get power. We're gonna set them to split again. All of them split. Then we're gonna, I'm gonna want speed upgrades for this as well. But the first one is probably gonna fill quickly. And yeah, that's... I'm not gonna need speed upgrades on that. It really fills these up quickly. And... Is this not enough? They're kinda dropping a bit on power, but they're just... 25 RF per tick on each of these. Um, Probably add maybe over here or something, but we're gonna be able to keep up later. Oh, I want all of these to kind of uh, export to the east here. East, good. I will just draw the charcoal from the bottom. Uh, kind of make it all go over to the east connection and if we go outside right now you should see that the charcoal is going up if I did everything correctly and we have yeah the charcoal is going up we have 
148 stacks plus 63, and yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna min max that a bit. Let's grab some more pack dice in Delorium, maybe that will fix it. Mm. Some more Delorium. Do I have. Let's see here. That's the MV. Why relays? Do I have more thermoelectrics? I have three more. And yeah, I don't have it much more insulated. Let's just go back and try to give it a little bit more power. So you and you. That's uh, still not keeping up. Let's try adding one, two, three more. And that's just gonna be one, two, three. Ah, that's no good. And I can hook up two of these. Cool. And yeah. That seems to do the trick. It's gonna keep up, but barely. Would like these to fill over time, and right now it looks like they are kind of gaining. And this is actually draining out, so I guess it's. I guess this is enough for furnaces. Yeah, that's neat. I'm happy. Anyways, that's everything for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you really enjoyed it, you can leave a like or, you know, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.